Hi, my name is Satoshi Hoshino. I am from Utsunomiya University, Japan. In this movie, I'm going to talk about mobile robot motion planning through obstacle state classifier. Motion planning for obstacle avoidance is one of the essential capabilities for owners' navigation by mobile robots. As you can see here in the light bottom movie, the robot first builds a map of the environment beforehand. In the map, the robot localizes the position using sensors. On the basis of the localized position, a path toward the destination is planned. So the robot then plans motions to follow the path. These path and motion planning approaches require a precise configuration space. So we have focused on a so-called end-to-end approach that enables the robot to plan the motions directly from sensor input without the configuration space. In this, in this approach, the robot is able to plan avoidance motions for an obstacle ahead, as you can see in this left movie. Okay, so first off, let us define what the motion planning is. Motion planning is to determine the following outputs for the sensor inputs, linear velocity and angular velocity. The robot plans avoidance motions, not only for static obstacle, obstacles, but also for dynamic obstacles, such as pedestrians. We have thus far proposed the motion planner based on CNN with an LSTM block through mediated perception. As a result, the mobile robot based on the motion planner was enabled to avoid a walking person as a dynamic obstacle. However, the robot failed in avoiding the person walking faster. This was, this was because that depth images were used as inputs to the motion planner. In the depth images, velocity information about the obstacle is not included. So what we want the robot to do is to plan different avoidance motions depending on the velocity of dynamic obstacle. For this challenge, an obstacle state classifier based on CNN is used ahead of the motion planner. As input to the classifier, a depth difference image is generated from two depth images. In contrast to the depth images, velocity information about the obstacle is included in the depth difference images. A state that indicates the velocity of the obstacle is the output from the obstacle state classifier. This classified state is then fed as one of the inputs to the following motion planner. RGB and depth images are also used as inputs. Moreover, linear and angular velocities in a previous step and goal direction based on localization are used as inputs. The outputs from the motion planner are the next linear and angular velocities. Here, let us explain two motion planners. The first one is what we proposed in our previous work. The original RGBD image is first acquired by the camera. From the image, RGB and depth images image are derived respectively. RGB image is fed as the input to an obstacle detector. If one obstacle is detected in the image, the bounding box is displayed. Moreover, the obstacle in the image is recognized as a static or dynamic. On the basis of the bounding box and recognition result for the obstacle, a perception image is generated. So, the perception and depth images are then fed as the inputs to the respective convolution and pooling layers. In these layers, Obstacle features important for determining the motion output Vt and omega t are extracted from the images. The extracted features are flattened and fed as the input to the fully connected layers. In the fully connected layers, an LSTM block is applied after the concatenation of the linear and angular velocities of the previous time step. After the LSTM block, the current goal direction is con concatenated. And finally, the velocity and angular velocity are determined as the motion output. In the, pro in the proposed motion planner, on the other hand, a classified obstacle state C is further fed as the input 
to the fully connected layer. For this purpose, we present an obstacle state classifier based on CNN. The depth difference image is used as the input to the obstacle state classifier. The output layer is composed of n units corresponding to the number of state classes. The classified state is represented by one by a one hot vector, as you can see here. The obstacle state that indicates the velocity is then fed as the input to the following motion prana. Uh, for the obstacle state classifier, depth difference images are used as the inputs play the important law. For example, when a working person is recognized as a dynamic obstacle in an RGB image, the bounding box is displayed in the current depth image, as you can see, as can be seen here in this figure. This figure shows a depth image acquired at the previous time step. Within the bounding box, the difference of the pixel values between the current and previous depth images are calculated. Finally, the light uh, figure shows the generated depth difference image. In the image, outside the bounding box is all colored by black. For autonomous navigation, including obstacle avoidance, a mobile robot equipped with three RGBD cameras shown in this picture is used. As can be seen here, a 2D LiDAR is mounted in front of the robot for localization to calculate a goal direction. YOLO is used as an obstacle detector. For comparison, two motion planners are applied to the robot. One is previous planner without the classified state input C, and the other one is uh, the proposed planner with uh, the classified state input C. For the proposed motion planner, obstacle state classifier is used. The output layer of uh, the obstacle state classifier is composed of four units indicating the velocity states, which are high, low, stop, NNA. For the person outside the sensing range of the RGBD, RGBD camera, which is 10 meter in this experiment, the state class is NA. Both the motion planners and obstacle state classifier are trained through imitation learning and supervised learning. Please refer to our paper for more details on the structures of the motion planners and obstacle state classifier. Uh, this picture shows the indoor environment used for motion, instruction, and autonomous navigation. The guy in this picture is a target obstacle. This figure shows the occupancy grid map built by the robot beforehand. The robot moves from S toward G while avoiding the obstacle at O. He is now standing at O and also works toward S as a dynamic obstacle. For network training uh, of the motion planners, the robot is instructed to move toward G while avoiding the static or dynamic obstacle as you can see in this movie. After network training of both the motion planners and the uh, obstacle state classifier, we examine the classification accuracy of the obstacle state classifier. As you can see in this table, the classification accuracy for the velocity were 83.7% for the velocity at 2 and 81.5 uh, for the velocity at 1 and 95.5 for the velocity at 0. Therefore, this obstacle state classifier is used ahead of the motion planner for all news navigation, including obstacle avoidance. For both the standing and walking person, the robot based on each motion planner repeated the trials five times in total. Uh, for the standing person, the robot was able to reach the destination G regardless of the motion planners. For the walking person, however, the robot based on the motion planner without the obstacle state input reached the, reached the destination only one time. On the other hand, the robot based on the motion planner with the obstacle state input 
successfully reach the destination in all the trials. We further discussed the navigation results in terms of the relative distance when the robot began to avoid the walking person. The robot was instructed to avoid the person walking slowly or slowly or first uh, when the relative distance was five and seven meter. However, the average distance was 5.3 and 5.9 for the person walking slowly or first respectively when the motion planner without the obstacle state input was applied to the robot. These results indicate that the robot could not plan the different avoidance motions depending on the velocity of the obstacle. In consequence, the, working, uh, the person walking first came closer to the robot and finally the robot sp stopped emergently. On the other hand, the robot based on the motion planner with the obstacle state input successfully kept the distance 5.7 and 7.4 meters as instructed for the person walking slowly and or first. As a result, the robot avoided, avoided the working person by planning the different avoidance motions depending on the velocities. Uh, here it does show you the trajectories of the robot for the person walking slowly or first. The blue and red plots here and here indicate that the robot classified the state into slow and first respectively. On the basis of the correct classification result, the robot avoided the obstacle by planning the avoidance motions as instructed. Okay, let us conclude this presentation by showing the movies of the robot based on the proposed motion planner uh, with the obstacle state input. Thank you very much for your kind attention.